Okay. So uh, yesterday um, at noon, um, we did a replay. I did a replay on the S&P with the SIM scalper. This is a SIM scalper. Uh, yesterday we went over the contract rollover date, uh, June 16th or June 17th, and I replayed all the trades it took all the way until yesterday. And so we looked at how the SIM scalper worked on all these trades from 6.17 um, all the way to the current day yesterday. So if you attended yesterday, right after I got off the microphone, the exact same chart that we went over yesterday, it fired a long uh, into the close, um, really nice long, and we've had some nice shorts here this morning. So it's actually got a runner that's running right now um, on these shorts. So if you, do, if you happen to uh, attend yesterday, uh, th that's what you um, uh, missed. We did not record it um, for the members that were in here. Uh, we just showed a replay of every single trade that we did, that the SIM scalper did uh, from contract rollover 617 to the present. So that being said, we've had some nice trades here today off of it again. This, was in the, this is in the live trading room. Um, I just don't show the, uh, I show it as a yellow signal that comes up. Right here, um, I take the, I hit data, I scroll, scroll down, I hit plot. So you can see it's run some trades here this morning um, again already. So I will show you all members, um, you will get this, um, you will get this in your email with the settings, uh, the targets that were used in the replay yesterday, and so on, um, and the Rinko size. So look for that after I get off of this recording, and you guys will get that. Um, I am running it right now. Um, so let's, let's go through this a little bit, and we'll go through on some of these settings. So this is actually called the SIM Scalper. I have this named differently when I gave it to Gerald, but it is the SIM, the SIM Scalper. You have this. Um, so uh, I will go over these settings that it's been running. Uh, this is since... Yesterday, it's been running since yesterday. Uh, we'll go over these exact settings in the email for you members. Um, and I'm going to go over it here this morning, uh, this afternoon, also a little bit for you. Tomorrow, um, I'm going to do a replay again. Uh, we're going to get into uh, a little bit different. Uh, different. Um, we're going to go into different um, markets tomorrow. So we will be going into different markets tomorrow and going over that um, uh, for you guys. Right now, uh, the S&P, it's got um, a, co a couple short positions running right now in the S&P to some scalper. Um, and it's got a short position here also um, on the previous version that we got out for you guys. Um, and then I'll go over that with you here in a second also. So members, make sure you understand um, if you missed yesterday's replay, that's okay because I'm going to send out an email, uh, Gerald. I just got it with them off the phone. Um, an email will come out to you today with all the settings that you run on the SIM scalper to emulate these trades, um, and that's what I'm going to go over, uh, you know, today for you guys so you understand. So um, right now, like I said, it's got a runner here um, on the SIM scalper. Um, we got two runners. And then it's got a runner on the um, on the previous version that we had out to you. Also, it's done quite well here in the last couple of days on this. Also, so we'll we'll, uh, we'll send all this stuff out. So as far as this goes, the upper right chart, like I said in the trading room, um, I have it set. So there's three charts in the trading room right now. I've got the sim scalper running on the two right charts, the upper right and the lower right. So this upper chart is my 150 chart, and the lower chart is the 40 chart. So this is 150. Members, I will send the exact settings out to you on this. So this is the 150 we're running uh, on the Rinko, the Smooth Rinko. Um, it's had several trades here this morning. And in the bottom chart, we've got, um, we've got running the, uh, the, the 40. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be going to the NASDAQ, uh, a couple other markets. Um, Joe wanted me to do a video on this re uh, uh, today uh, based upon yesterday's replay that we did. 
So that's why I want to go over this. Yeah, we'll get. I'm going to get out everything to members out to you, Brian, um, right after this video. I'm going to send it to Jiro. He's going to send it out to everybody. So um, this will be in a format email for all you members going out. So on the left side, we went over this yesterday. So the left side, as you can tell, we have the 12020, right? But I showed you guys yesterday, which I'll show in the email also. So I showed you guys yesterday how you can run this as a strategy also. All right, it's done quite well uh, with the settings, which I'm going to show you. But this can be run with the prior version also that you guys have as members. Um, I'm going to go over how to set that up after this video. I'll shut this video off. I'll show you how to set this chart up. So these are the reversals I talked about yesterday. A lot of you guys, I've been looking at the chat here this morning. You guys nailed this top. It looks like a lot of you chat members nailed this outer edge trade for this big, nice little short this morning. As I'm reading it um, and scrolled back, you guys got a hold of that. So nice job. Um, a lot of you guys also, going back in the chat, looks like you got this um, on this breakdown here this morning. So great work. I, I will show you what that is um, after you get out this video. But this is the prior version that you guys have. This is not the skin sim scalper. This is the um, the uh, the zone breakout, and I'll show you that in a second. But with the sim scalper, like I said, I'm running the sim scalper in the room, and I have these because everybody has different targets and different um, different stops they want to use with this. Like this one, you know, I have it set where it got short at 55 and a half. It got out at 54, it got out at 452.50, 51, 49.5, 48, and now the runner's still running on this trade as we speak. As you can see, uh, this runner's running unrealized uh, right here on these two SIM scalpers. So check your email members. Um, you will get these exact settings, these exact settings that we are running um, on these. And um, I'll show you how to do it. But this is what I show in the room. I just show this. I, I put the I put the um, I put do not plot. What you're going to see is you're going to see these zone breaks come up. These zone breaks automatically come up live. So when these come up, it tells you you have a possible short or long in the market. So the best possible combination that you can get with this software is when you get a liquidity grab and what a liquidity grab is is you can see that when these this market retraces this is off the 150 when we get a retracement it will be, it will be turning green at the time it will be green at the time and if it closes back red without closing green that tells you that the market has now grabbed liquidity. It's taken the counter trend traders out of the market and it's resumed trend. Counter trend traders out of the market, resume trend. Counter trend traders out, resume trend. This is market depth. You can look at the market depth in the inside the market. They're taking the counter trend traders out, resume trend. The combination you want to see is this though. You want to see the liquidity grab, where they're grabbing liquidity, they get the nice pullback right there, and then they come back down and close back red, and you get a yellow candle, the next candle. If you see these marry up together, this is a combination you want. You want to see a liquidity grab going into a zone break. This is a SIM scalper. It does it for you automatically. If you want to trade it manually on your system, or if you want to use the automated version, you can do that also. Like I said, with the members, I'll send you the automated version, exact settings out. All the replay I did yesterday, it's had some nice setups since yesterday. Uh, we did the replay all the way from, like I said, 617 every trade. And then right after I got off the, um, right after I got off 
here in the afternoon, it started firing trade setups. It started firing some trade setups, uh, and now it's fired trade setups uh, here today on the short side. So members, look for this. Look for that. But in the room, what I'm showing is I don't show the fills because they're in the background because you guys all have your own stop targets and uh, you have your own individual targets and stops on this. I'll show you what I did on the replay coming out to you on your email to members only for the settings. So I'll send that out to members only after we get off this call. But this is a combination you want to look for. You want to see a liquidity grab, then the yellow zone break. Liquidity grab, yellow zone break. And we've had that nicely. I mean, it started the big trend to the uh, downside um, as we speak today. And she's been rolling to the downside quite nice as, as far as that goes. Uh, the upside, same thing. Uh, we, we fired yesterday. You want to see a liquidity grab. And then you want to see the yellow candle print. That's when the automated strategy will get long. Because when this yellow ball a candle fires, it's telling the, the, the alga, the alga is telling us that we're going into an uh, we're breaking through major resistance where potential sell stops are being hit after a liquidity grab. And when our, the buy stops, I'm sorry, will be hit from the shorts being caught, the counter trend traders. And then like here, all these counter trend traders, look at all these spikes in the market. Th these are all the counter trend traders right here that got taken out of the market. All these indicators that tell you the counter trend trade. This created liquidity in the market for the smart money to keep bringing it lower all morning. All these are liquidity grabs all the way down. The runner is still running on the strategy as far as that goes. So that's the, that, that's the whole methodology behind the SIM scalper. The SIM scalper, we're looking for a spike. We're looking for a, a spike in the market to take out the counter trend traders. Hey, Derek. Take out the counter trend traders. It's called a rinse, wash, rinse, and repeat, right? So it's rinsing out the counter trend traders, and then it's continu continuing the trend. So that's what we want to see. We want to see this combination just like that for the zone breaks for the SIM scalper, you know, to uh, to take place. Now, two ways you can trade the SIM scalper. Sim scalper can be traded two ways. One, we have the automated version. And two, you can view the signals like this right here, and you can manually use Chart Trader to fire in the trade. All right, so the SIM scalper will, no matter if, if you do automated trading or you use the SIM scalper, the one thing you want to do if you're doing the manual trading where you're entering the trades by yourself, uh, when these signals come up, you want to see a liquidity grab, and then you will see the yellow candle print right afterwards. Okay, that's one thing we want to see. So these are in the room, like I said. Um, you guys will have these uh, uh, you traders. Will uh, members will have that in your inbox? Uh, what we replayed yesterday, and we'll go over all that stuff. Um, we'll go over all that stuff on the email out to you guys. Okay.